Hi, it's Dr. Centeno, and today I'd like to talk about dizziness and neck pain. You know, this is a topic that's kind of near and dear to my heart because I began treating these patients about 20 years ago, and it really became one of my specialties over time. So if you have dizziness and neck pain, you may not know that the two are likely related. So how does that work? The upper neck provides position sense information that's coordinated with your eyes and inner ear. There are actually three different systems that keep you balanced. It's a little bit like the triple redundant systems that NASA used to put in spaceships sent to the moon, but this one lives in your body. It's there to make sure that we have multiple systems that can keep you upright, walking, and level-headed. Now these inputs must all agree for you to have normal balance and for you to know which end is up, meaning that the information coming in from the upper neck, the inner ear and the eyes all have to jive. But when one of them gets out of whack, like in your neck, the info coming in doesn't agree with the others and you can get dizzy. And since the joints in this part of the spine also refer pain to the head, Headaches are also another common feature of this problem. So fixing this issue is usually then a matter of treating the upper neck. And there's a couple different ways you can do that. The simplest way could be just with physical therapy, or you can also uh, take little acupuncture needles and acupuncture uh, treat, or what's called dry needle, the upper neck muscles. And that can be pretty effective. You can also, if that doesn't work, inject the upper neck facet joints with things like the patient's own platelet-rich plasma to try to heal damage in those joints that might have been caused by an accident or injury. Or you can tighten down damaged upper neck ligaments. So again, lots of different ways to treat this that don't require surgery. So for more information, see Regenix.com. Thanks so much and have a great day.